good morning to you and the children that are having a go at our maths lesson today from home. Hopefully you've done your arithmetic starter and that went well. Um, our skill today is to revise our understanding of solving problems with ratio. So we have covered ratio in quite a lot of depth, okay? But don't panic because we're going to go through it with a lot of depth today as well. Okay, so at home, what you will need is you will need the um, word problems that are on the website and um, some scrap paper for like you're working out. We're going to use our whiteboards a lot today. And also you will need um, some paper for your answers as well. Okay, so ratio. So have a little look. What is the ratio of white to black hexagons? So what is the ratio of the white to black hexagons? Angel? Three to, two. three to two. Good girl. How do you know that it's three to two and not two to three? Cameron? Because you said white to black. Yeah. Good boy. <laughs> yeah. Keep going, Cameron. If you said black to white, then you started with black hexagons. Perfect. Well done. Yeah, so we've talked a lot about that in our lessons on ratio. It's really important to read the question very carefully and to know which part you're going to put first, okay? Because um, that, that can be a big problem with ratios if we got that muddled the wrong way around. Okay, well done. So it's three to two. Okay, so using this ratio, how many black hexagons would there be if there were 12 white hexagons. So this is where I'm going to use my whiteboard and people in the class are too. So at home with your scrap bit of paper, just jot down the ratio. So we've got three to two. The three symbolizes the white hexagons and the two symbolizes the black hexagons. If there were 12 white hexagons, how many black hexagons would there be? Oh, Cameron's put his hand straight up and Will and Ben. Oh, good job, good job. What do you think, people at home? Okay, Lils, explain it for us. Um, would there be 11? Not 11, no. Have a look at that ratio again. Sam? Eight. Okay, how did you work out eight, Sam? Well, because I knew that for every three, Good job. Okay, so what we have to do is when we set out our workout today, we have to look at the different parts and the information that we're given, which is why I set mine out like this. We're going to also use bar models to be setting out today as well. So if we had three white hexagons for every two black hexagons, and then we ended up with 12 white hexagons, we'd have to look at the relationship between these two numbers. So from, to get from three white hexagons to 12 white hexagons, we've multiplied that by four. So three multiplied by four is 12. And we know that what we do on one side, we're gonna do on the other side, okay? So you would do two times by four, multiplied by four would be eight. So there would be eight black hexagons. Does that make sense? Lovely, okay. Perfect. Okay, so here's our first question. So we are looking at word problems today. Okay, so remember your rucksack techniques. You might want to double check these um, with an adult at home as well, people at home. So the money raised by the PTA, big up our PTA, they're amazing. Um, a whopping £2,100 is shared three to two between new sports equipment, so they get three parts, and new science equipment, so they get two parts, they get two shares of that money. How much money will go towards equipment for PE and science? Okay, so, on your whiteboards, write out the information we know. So we know that there's £2,100 that's been raised by our amazing PTA. We know that sports equipment, because of the way that the question is worded, 
Sports equipment is going to get three shares of that. And science is going to have two shares of that. So that's what it looks like. So sports has three shares, science has two shares. Okay, and we've got 2,100 pounds to share out. How do you think we would know what to do? How do you think we would know how much we'd get for the sports and how much we'd get for the science? Thomas, would you work out how many there is all together and then divide it by that number? Good boy, perfect. So the first step that we have is to work out how many shares, how many parts there are all together. Okay, so let's have a look at the PowerPoint now. So step one, find the total number of shares by adding the ratios together. So three add two, there are five parts. Okay, so would everyone, including people at home, do me a really huge favour and do 2,100 divided by five as our first step. do this along with you guys at home so I've got 2,000 divided by 5 25 4 remainder 1 hide it from my class ok what have you guys got? chat it out 420. Okay, lovely. So, 2,100, we know that the PE equipment is going to get three of those shares and the science is going to get two. So, this is what it would look like as a bar model. So, step two, find the value of each share by dividing the total amount by the number of shares. So, we've done that and we've worked out that that's 420. Well done, 6A. So, step three, what do we think step three is going to be to work out how many they get each? So have a look at that bar model, everyone. What are we going to do? Will? We could. There's a lot of adding. We could just times it by three, couldn't we? So for the PE equipment, for the sports equipment, who are getting three of those shares, each share is worth 420. So we're going to do 420 multiplied by three. Off you go, if you go at home. Yes, Sam? No, <laughs> so that's okay. <laughs> Which was that? Oh, 1,200. Good job. And for science, what would science be? Cameron? 840, well done. So the P equipment, the sports equipment, gets 1,260 and the science gets 840. Does that make sense to all of you? Yeah? Okay, perfect, well done. So here's our next question. The ratio of boys to girls at the Churchill School is 6 to 5. So first, let's write down the information we know. So we've got boys. And we've got girls. And the ratio is six to five. That's the information we know so far. There are 168 boys in the school. So I'm gonna write 168 in the information I know about the boys. Because I know that there's 168 boys. How many children are there? all together. Right, so we don't know how many girls there are, and we want to know as well how many there are all together. So how many children there are all together. Okay, quickly talk to your partner. What information is going to help us to work out how many girls there are, and then how many children there are all together? I'm going to show you a quick thing to see if I can help you. What would you need to do? M? You'd have to do 168 divided by 6. You would, because that's going to give us... How many boys, how many girls there are? No, that's going to give us... One. What one share is, yeah? And then 
Right, okay, so do that. Quickly, I was getting overexcited then. Off you go. So step one, find the total number of shares by adding the ratios together. So there are 11 shares. Step two, use the information given to work out the value of one part. We know the boys, so we divide the ratio, which is the boys. So there's 168 boys, and we're dividing it by six. Well done, Emily. Has anyone got an answer for me for that yet? Lils? Is it 28? Let's have a look. It is. Well done, Lils. It is 28. Okay, so then how, what would I do to the girls? So that I know is divided by, so six times 28. I'm gonna move my arrow back the other way around now. Six times 28 is 168. So what am I gonna do to my fives to find out how many girls there are? Remember, I've got to do the same thing. Sam? Lovely, so multiply 28 by five for me everyone. Have you guys already done that? Yeah, fine. Super speedy. Ben, what did you get? I got 50. 28 by 5 is 50. Sam? 140. 140. Ben, can you see what you've done? Oh, yeah. Yeah, lovely. Good boy. Well done. So I did two times Perfect. So work out the number of children by multiplying one part by the total number of parts. So you could do 28 times 11. Or you could work it out by working out how many girls there are, which is what we've done, and then adding them together. So you should have 308. Boys could you, um, and girls, could you do me a favour? Add the boys and the girls together to make sure that we've got 308. Yeah. Right, give me a big thumbs up if we've got 308. Perfect. Well done, guys. Very, very good. Okay, so your turn. The ratio of adults to children at a cinema is three to four. So here we go. So we've got adults and we've got children. And our ratio is three, three adults to every four children. Okay, we know there are 222 adults. So that information is going to go under my adult section. How many people are there at the cinema altogether? And how many of those are children? Right, guys at home, pause the video and see if you can do this independently. I'm going to see if my guys here can do it independently too. So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes, guys. So how are you going to use this information to work out what this is and then to work it out all together? Off you go. So what information do we have? How can we use it? Think about that arrow. Which way is it going to go? How would you work out what you times three by to get to 222? Good girl, well done, yep. Yeah. Right, okay, so looking at the board, my crew look ready here. Okay, so three out of four is seven shares in total. Now, when we look at our information that we have, we have 222 adults and we know that the ratio of adults is three originally. So we divide that to get one share and one share is 74. Okay, so adults have got those three sections the children's four section. So you could either multiply one share, which we found, 74 by seven, to find out how many there are all together, or you could 
do the inverse. So we did 222 divided by 3. You guys could do 4 times by 74 to find out how many children there are and then add them up together. So 74 times 7 is 518. Give me a big thumbs up if you've got 518 for your total amount of children here. Well done. Good job, guys. And answer two, so how many children are there, was 296. Give me a big thumbs up if you guys got that. Perfect. They did a really good job here. So I hope that at home that was nice and clear. If you get stuck at any point, just pause it rewind have a look at the really lovely bar models and see if you can work it out with an adult because i know it is tricky at home you guys are doing a smashing job okay so just to remember step one is to find the total amount of shares by adding the ratios together step two use the information given to work out the value of each part so what information can we use to work out the value of each part then step three work out the number of children by multiplying one part by four okay because there were four amounts four shares okay so we're going to stop now guys and i'm going to leave you with your steps to success which you can read through um, and you can start tackling those questions at home okay have a lovely rest of the day guys and we miss you lots take care